looks like we have 10 right now joining us. And I have to be honest with you, I was not into this today. I was in my PJs about 20 minutes ago, still sitting on the couch. It's gorgeous outside. I didn't even want to go outside. Um, but sometimes you just need to turn it on, press play, see what your body has for the day. Day to day, is we're in a crazy place and it's easy to get stuck on the couch in the PJs, in your PJs. So we're going to get moving today, get the blood pumping. If you have something that has weight, you can use it. Um, whether it's a jug of water, whether it's a couple cans, I don't know, your cat food, whatever. You can always use that. You also don't have to use anything at all. Um, everything can be used as body weight. Once we get into our workout today, or after our warm up, the actual workout is gonna be ladder drill based. You don't have to understand it right now. Just know that as we work through the exercises, your repetitions will increase. So we'll have two exercises. We'll do one of one, one of the other. Two, two, three, three, four, four. It'll be timed, we'll do it for three minutes, and then we'll move on to another exercise pairing. The first exercise will always be power. It'll be to increase the heart rate. The second one is gonna be more strength. Of course, if there is a power move you don't like, do something you do. If there's a strength move that doesn't real feel right for your body, do something that does. Our goal is to keep moving, to get the heart rate up and to get stronger in the next 45 minutes here. So let's get us warmed up. Find your space. All right, this is where I turn off my music and I make my household scream. Feet wide, chest up. We go down and up. Down and up, go easy. Like I said, I haven't done much this morning. My hips, my knees, my body is feeling a little stiff. If that's you, stay higher. And if you're feeling good, I want you to take it lower. Weight the heels, lift the chest, and bring those arms in. Let's go four. Reach three, two, and this is the same warm up you're used to seeing with me lately. Take your toes wide to the corners, shift side to side. Try to reach the floor, keeping the chest proud, and start to windmill the arms, keeping the knees pressing over your toe. If something doesn't feel right, if you need to take an extra moment to stretch it out, you never have to stay with me. This is you against you. For four and three, two and one. Let's walk your feet in. Reverse stepping lunges. Step, step, back and in. And with your lunges, Back knee drops to the floor. Your shoulders stacked over the hips. And think about growing taller as you sink down to the floor. Maybe you take an extra moment. Stretch into that hip flexor. Let's go four. Last three, two, and one. Come on down with me. Wide mountain climbers. Hands are under the shoulders. One foot goes to the outside of your hand. Step in and switch. If you're feeling good, looking for the extra stretch, take it into down dog in between. So wide climb, then push the hips up. Right now we're priming the body, getting it ready to move. Let's go four, three, two. Stay back here in the down dog. Maybe pedal it out a little bit. Come on, down to the knees. One push up, one child's pose. Down and then push it back. Now we go in for two push ups and roll through the spine. Sit back to the heels. Three, can you start to get the chest to elbow height? If you're feeling ready to rock and roll, come on up to the toes. You've got four. 
Stretch. Last one, we're going for five. And four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. Listen up, everybody. We're going to continue the warm up, which is actually the first part of the workout. We're not headed to the ladders yet, but we're going to do 30 seconds of every exercise that are in our ladder drills just to get your body familiar with it and your heart rate up. So come on up to your feet. We've got 30 seconds of power jacks. Grab a towel if you have it. You don't have to. Hands are shoulder width apart. Roll them down. Your towel starts at the chest. We go up as your feet jack out. If you don't want to jump, you're tapping to the side. Ready or not? Go. Drawing the blades down your back. Lock in the core. Skip everything up the middle. You're halfway. You should feel that core temperature starting to rise for five, four, three, two, one. All right, next exercise we do today is going to be your squat with the towel press. So if you have a weight, grab it. If not, use your towel. We go press it out as you go down to your squat. You pull in as you stand up. 30 seconds, go. Now sink the weight to the heels. Push your arms long, then pull your shoulder blades together. All right, now you're halfway. Are you getting low? Your option to stay higher and you don't have to use your arms. We have three, two, one. Breathe. 15 seconds in between. Those were your first two that we'll build together. Now let's move on to the next two exercises. Mountain climbers, come on down to the floor. Hands are under your shoulders. It looks like this. We go three, two, one, 30 seconds to climb. With your mountain climber, your goal is to keep your arms and your upper body as still as you can. You're halfway. If needed, you're on your knees, or maybe you're taking the power jack option back. Four, three, two, one. Now with mountain climbers, your core had to start to engage to hold the body still. We're gonna flip over into a basic ab crunch. Toes are on the floor, heels are lifted, fingertips at your temples. Three, two, crunch. Up and down. Up and down. Nothing fancy. Your alternating pairs today are gonna be all focused on the core. We're not saving it for the end. Can you lift higher? Maybe you speed it up in pulse. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab the back of your legs, come on up. All right, guys, your next two pair. Scissor jump lunges and push-ups. This is where we start to get serious, but remember right now you are still warming up. Scissor jump lunges. You're here. We're going to take a double pulse and then we switch. Drop the back knee to the floor. Take out impact if you need. Three, two, scissor down 30 seconds. So, however, you need to take it this afternoon. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're just going for it. You don't need to pause. You just need to move. 15. Remember to the side, shoulders over hips, hip over knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Your scissor lunges are paired with push ups. Come on down. 30 seconds to work. Hands wide. Three, two, 
Knees or toes, go. Your moves do not have to be complicated. We're searching for fatigue. In a short amount of time, not any equipment. You have five, four, three, two, one. When we get to work, the push-ups will be paired with the lunges. Our next pair, flip over to your back. You have the power sit up to start. Think tempo. Take a look at me. Arms overhead, like meet in a V sit in the middle, and then extend back, back out. So it's quick and it's slow. If that doesn't feel right for you, you're staying here. And it creates that density. Power sit ups go up and down. I want you to drive the ribs into the hips. Reach for the toes as you go. You have five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to power pair the power sit up with leg lowers. This time your upper body is down. Legs extend overhead, lower down, and lift. 30 seconds. Let's go. Zipping everything up the middle. No arching through the lower back. If it does, you are bending your knees and taking that lower option. Guys, you're halfway. Melt your back into the ground, your arms firm to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have another pair in the bag. We're back up on your feet. The increase in the heart rate comes with skaters this time. Side to side. It's a lateral movement where we wake up the inner and outer thighs and your glutes. If you're not jumping, you're stepping, you're lifting. In three, two, 30 seconds, go. Do you guys realize this is still your warm up? We haven't even started working yet. Come on, halfway. Make it bigger. As much muscle as you can get into the game. So reach and pull with the arms, lower and lift through the legs. Three, two, one, go. Stop, not go. We pair your power move with pulsing squats for strength. Come on down, 30 seconds. You come up this halfway. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Ah. Shoulders spin back, chest lifted, weighted heels, and wiggle those toes halfway. You got it, I see you. Heart rate should be coming down, your leg muscles talking louder. In three, two, one, come on up, shake it out. All right, we're back down. Actually, you're not. Sorry. Yes, you are. Hover jacks. I need my glasses. I don't have them on. You have your core pair. Guys, we have a couple more pairs left. Stay with me. Elbows under the shoulders. 30 seconds. Looks like this. You have plank jacks. If you don't want to jump, you're tapping out to the side. In three, two, one, go. Now weight your forearms. We're back to keeping your upper body as still as you can. It's not about how high can you lift. Your toes just barely move over the floor. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. That's your power core move. We now have side hip crunches. Take a seat on your butt cheek. It shouldn't be on the bony part. It's on the meaty part. If you've done CX with me before, we've done this move. Legs together, we go in and out in three, two, one, go. Your upper body is a statue. Don't let it move. Your option here, if your leg feels a bit heavy this morning, just drop the bottom leg down. If you're looking for that little extra, lift the heels at the top. Fight into the side. Four, three, two, one. Swing the legs the other way. Find the meaty part of your butt cheek, elbows under the shoulder, top arm lifts. We go in and out. Hitting the other side. Squeeze the inner thighs together if you're using both legs and lift the heels higher. 15. Now breathe. Heart rate should settle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Those for our pair. Last one, up on your feet, come on. Ground to press. It's a big move, which means you're staying lifted, you're getting low, trying to touch the floor, and then pressing your arms overhead. If you wanna make it more powerful, it's a leapfrog jump in the middle. 30 seconds, go. If you're not taking the jump option, you're doing a double calf raise at the top. Reach. Reach. Halfway. Get low, but stay lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on down to the mat. Heart rate should be up. Your strength move for the body. Make a triangle with your hands. Put it under your chest, on your knees for push-ups. Elbows, try to stay tucked to the sides. In three, two, one, go. This is a smaller muscle group. So if you're on your toes, you might not last long. In that case, walk the knees under your hips. You're halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake out the arms. We're flipping over to the back. Last two core moves, and then once we get started, we're back at the top and we are racing through. Power bicycle. Fingers are here, legs are long. You're opening up to the side with rotation, and then you switch the other way. If you don't want to lift, you're in a bicycle. You guys know this move. Three, two, one, power up, return, switch. Now I want you to sit real tall at the top. Spread the elbows wide. Woo, this one's hard to do. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay down to the mat, walk the toes in. We take the power out, control double crunch. Looks like this. Are you ready? Last 30 seconds of your warm up. Three, two, one, go. In and down. Your knees pull into the chest. Your ribs slide into the hips. Halfway. Okay. 
You have four. Last three, two, and one. All right. Now it's time to work. Our block of work is going to bring us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight three minute blocks. That brings us to about 24 minutes, which means we will be done here around 1.45, right when we should be. First two exercises. Think way back. We had with a towel, a power jack, and then a squat with a towel. So what we're gonna do is one power jack, one squat with a towel. Two power jacks, two squat with towels. You go to three, then four of both, five. You have three minutes, and this is your speed, your tempo. You can go with me, you cannot. Whatever works for you, those two moves. In three, two, one, let's go. One power jack, one squat and press. Your goal for each, full range of motion. If you need to, you're tapping the side, you're counting the arms, sitting low and shortening your range of motion if needed. So now I'm five. And five. First couple ones aren't so bad, right? Your heart rate goes up, and you focus on breathing. Try to stabilize the heart rate. Go slower to recruit more muscle fiber. And if you lose count, that's okay. I'm on for seven. You can jump in with me. Remember, your feet come back, hip width apart and the top of your head reaches for the ceiling. Keep ripping the towel apart. Engage your back, draw the elbows to the sides of the rooms. Guys, you're over halfway, 90 seconds in, 90 seconds to go. So let's go. You're looking for that little extra. Give me that extra. Final minute. How many reps can you get in? Pull the belly tight. We're not going to be doing these two moves again today. Find your peak with both. Sink low. Just over 30 seconds. Your next two moves coming up are your core moves. Right now we're using full body. Final 15. Don't wait, go right into the next. Four, three, two, one. Shake out the arms, breathe. Your first block is done. Three minutes in, we're now moving to our next three minute block. We're starting in 15 seconds. Grab a drink, towel off, take more of a break if you need it, but we have your mountain climber with an ab crunch. So take a look right now. One, one. We flip over, and you do one. Back over. One, two, one, two. You flip over, one and two. Got it? Come on over. Three minutes on the clock. You have longer than 30 seconds to recover. So let's work harder. Go. One, one, flip over. One crunch. Back over. One, two, one, two. Flip over. One, two. 
Now we're going in for three. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, flip. One, two, three, four, flip. So however fast you can go, that moving back and forth is gonna get you a little sore too. Try to find your rhythm. Be careful in transitions. A lot of times that's where we hurt ourselves. If you've lost count and need to pick up somewhere, I'm on seven. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Now we flip. Guys, you just passed the halfway point. Less than 90 seconds to go. Remember that mountain climber move is a power move. We're working on getting the heart rate up and utilizing as much muscle as we can. All right, I see you guys. Nice work. Although a lot of you I don't see, you went out of the screen, so that's good, you're doing what you should be. Guys, less than a minute. Ribs to hips, stay in the top half of that crunch. Your mountain climber, shoulders, pinch set to the spine, glutes are tight. Thirty seconds, and you're not doing these two again. Some of you are so glad, right? We're not saving the core work for the finish today. We weave it in. Less than ten seconds. Wherever you are, stay in. Stay in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Shake out the shoulders, catch your breath, maybe grab yourself a drink. We're now coming up onto the feet with a big move. We have scissor jump lunges and push ups, which means up, down. One scissor jump lunge on each side. This would be one and one. Come on down for push ups for one. One. Two, then you're down on the floor for two. This one just might hurt a little. Take your time, do what you need to do, choose your options. Four, three, two, one, go. So one scissor lunge each side, one push up. One, two lunges each side, then two push ups. One, two, three. If you need to, you can always use furniture or a table for an incline push up. That's going to keep you from going all the way down to the floor every time. Remember to be careful with your transitions. Guys, one minute in. Two minutes to go. How far can you get up the ladder? Use the arms. Use as much of the body as you can. Now, 
with your push-ups. The wider the feet, the wider the knees, the more stability you will have. You take it narrow, you take it on your toes, the more of a challenge. Take your challenge today. Final minute with these moves. You're not going to see them again. Forty-five seconds. And one of the reasons I have you alternating legs is so that we even out the legs. You want to make sure. So if you have been doing one side and then the other side, make sure you even them out here. Fifteen seconds. Final 10, find that little extra. Use all the coffee I know you drank this morning in three, two, one, rest. Guys, that was a big one, which is why we pair two moves like that with two more focused on the floor with the core. So come on down. The first move is your power sit up in the middle. The second move, your leg lower. So watch, one up, one up. One, two, one, two. Got it? Options is needed. Three, two, one, go. If you're not coming up all the way, you're crunching using tempo for the moves. Then the legs straighten, and if needed, bend the knees as you work your way through. your breath. Inhale down, exhale as you lift. Support your arms to the mat and keep your back flat. I tell you what, my legs are shaking a little bit from those scissor lunges from the last block. seconds to go. 45 seconds and you will not see these two exercises again this afternoon. Final 15. Ten seconds. 
And stop. We're back up on our feet. Two big moves to bring the heart rate up. You have your skaters, you have your pulsing squats. Skaters, make sure you have enough room side to side. We're looking for power or you are side lunge with the knee. Three, two, one, go. You have one skater each side and one pulsing squat. Then one and two, then two pulsing squats, right? We're alternating these two moves just like we have been. Three each side. Three pulsing squats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is gonna get mean too. Heart rate goes up, heart rate stays up. Whatever you need this to look like. If you have more room, use it. Go for distance. Put the arms with it. Then pause slow and stay in that bottom range. Knees over toes, weighted heels. If you're with me, I've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get low, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now for eight. If you're not looking for power, you're looking for speed. Imagine the floor is hot, you're going side to side. This is three, three, two, two, one, one, then eight. Come on guys, wherever you are, this is that little extra, and this is your last minute of these two moves. Final 30. I'm on 10. Come on down. Some of you are a little high. Stay down. Woo! Three, two, one. All right, that was our three minutes. We're back down to core, just like that, two other moves. You have your hover jack and a side crunch. In the beginning, it's gonna be a little frustrating maybe. You're here, you have one jack, you go to the side, one jack to the side. Then you go in, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two. Three minutes. Three, two, one, go. Take your time to move into your position. Now you're on for two. One, two, go through the middle, do your plank jack again, and then hit the other side. If you don't like these, find something you do and do it. Okay. 
I'm not one for four. It really makes a difference when you start getting into those higher repetition ranges. Set the shoulders to the back. Your upper body is as still as you can. We're halfway. Oh, my legs are starting to feel heavier. Set the body, then crunch. Pick up those heels, roll over. Breathe, less than a minute. Walk in the body, lift the chest like you had a string that was pulling you across the room and you're trying to resist. Twenty seconds. If you're looking like sides are going to be uneven, make sure you even out. So I would probably be uneven. I'm going to roll over, taking out the plank, jack in the middle. We have five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, up on your feet. We're almost there. This is our last one of the big moves. A ground to press jump with the tricep push-ups. Three minutes on the clock, alternating those two. In three, two, one, go. It's a ground to reach. Ground to reach. Then your tricep push-up is here in the middle. One, two, one, Two, one, two, three, one, two, three. You have a double calf raise as your option. You can use a couch, hands in the middle, or your triceps instead. When we start to get tired, or we're like, oh yeah, I'm checking out. These are the reps that count the most. You have just about one minute down with two minutes to go this way. I think I was on four. Remember, on your knees or walk your knees under your hips. This is a small muscle group. One, two, three, four. Five, and your push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. I see you. You're halfway, guys. Come on. Tell you what, I'll be so happy when we're back in the gym and I can use whatever music I want to use. Final minute. Your legs should feel like cement. Your heart rate shooting through the roof. Twenty five seconds, come on. Make it your biggest, your highest, your
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we just clicked over, but in true form, we're gonna run about two minutes late. We have our last two moves. Stay with me if you can. Your bicycle and your double crunch. We finish with the core, three minutes, we stretch out, and you're done. Come on down. Looking to keep that pattern of power at first, sitting up tall for the rotation. One on each side, then one double crunch. Let's start with me. Come on up, power one, one, and then one double crunch. You would go one each side, two each side, and two double crunches. Guys, your time has already started. If you can't sit up all the way, you're keeping your lower back to the mat and you're pulling the knee into the chest. Double crunch, squeeze yourself into a ball and back to the mat. This is where we crank it up one minute in, two minutes to go. Breathe with each. Stay up tall. Halfway. This is a not about how fast you can go, but it's about using what you've got left. Sit tall, keep the integrity of this spine, zip it up one minute. Thirty seconds, then you will be all done with me today. Come on, can you sit higher? Can you reach further? Maybe pick up that tempo. 15. Patty, Laurie, Laura, Deborah, Chelsea, Carrie, Carolyn. Come on, friends. Five, four, three, two, and one. Push yourself back into child's pose. Roll it over. Heart rates were up. We use the larger muscle groups for all of our exercises today. And you had that bit of core work in between. Take one hand in the middle. So if you put your left hand in the middle, put your right hand behind your back, bring your chest to the mat. Now switch other side, right hand in the middle, left arm behind your back. Stretch it out. You can come up onto your knees or onto your feet. Big reach high. Maybe extend, open up the chest to the ceiling and draw those arms back. Woo. Shake it out. Keep stretching it out. One day at a time, guys. One day at a time. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. It does look gorgeous outside.